good suggestion, which is we should invade Panama with our remaining 20 witch divisions. And then from there, we will invade Florida and further divert the US attention, which should work pretty well. Meanwhile, we have 1,000 airbase spots available to us. Those guys haven't arrived yet. That's okay, we can wait. You guys, if these attacks aren't working, that's fine. Just call them off. We can, uh, we can get them later. Just merge up these front lines if we can. Get a nice defensive position. <clears throat> Jolly good. Now, where are my planes at? Have they arrived yet? Yes, I actually sent them further back than I intended to. Cool. So we got room for a thousand more. To fly on the east coast. So, 800 fighters, 200 casts. Seems fine. The rest of you head over here. Some of you are naval bombers, so you can actually deploy from here. Good. That will give us utter naval domination. And now let's see what we can do down here in the south. There goes another port falling under my control. Whoops. Just you. Come up here. Good. Stop that. Okay. Uh, can't you tell a misclick order when you see one? <laughs> you can't go... Oh, you can go straight here. Try that then. Pocket these guys. Moving more in. Not very many here. Let's see if we can do this. Pocket these chaps. Overrun him. There's the better infantry equipment, which obviously we are incredible rookies to have not got already. So we didn't really talk about the uh, the goal of the campaign, which is not a world conquest. We're not going to conquer everyone. It would be boring. And I'd rather move on to the next campaign where there's true challenge. Because the US is going to be a true challenge, but then everything else would be trivial. Even Germany would be trivial to fight. Even with like 500 divisions. You'd just pick a line, put forts on it. Put build air bases behind it. They'd have trash or um, supply. You'd build some infrastructure, and then you'd wipe them out. Um, we're going to kill the U.S. and then we're going to call it good. Um, in my mind, at that point, the U.K. seeks peace terms. Um, but yes, yeah, so the objective is just to kill the U.S. But the open question is, what do we play next? And I think a, a U.S. campaign with a max buffed Germany, I think that could be really good fun. You'd have to do... No, no, don't attack there. That's foolishness. Attack here. Therein lies wisdom. This is mountains, unfortunately, isn't it? Yeah, muddy mountains. So, it's tough going. Might be able to get it, though. Yeah, I think a US campaign where we set the Allies to go fascist and join the Axis would be quite fun. I don't know which way we'd go. I guess we'd go communist. We'll have to look at the... When this campaign's over, we'll take a look at the um, Wii that is on stream. I won't record this because I don't think it'll be that interesting. But we'll uh, we'll take a look at the US focus tree and decide which which path we want to go. And then we do like a world conquest as the US. Because I like campaigns where you play as someone, someone kind of a bit remote. And then you try and take on like vastly superior enemies. Like buff-wise, obviously. No one is superior. <laughs> In the AI anyway. Good. Stabilizing the front here. You guys can stop that. Let's just push these guys back rather than... Well, with these two, maybe? Fine. Let's go for the pocket. There's a thin line up here. I won't deny it. But now we got our planes here. I'm feeling a bit better. Didn't mean to bring 800 casts. Split you guys up. Seven of them. Well, six can go here. One of them can go back to Hawaii. Sit in reserve. Good. Almost got the whole West Coast air zone under my direct control. If you can, if they're going to let me cross this river. We should do it. If you just want to clean up. Actually, you can do all the clean up. You should turn. Let's unify these two fronts. In you go. They're already moving in there. Good. So how's the Panama invasion coming? It's going to take a while to plan, of course. Because I planned it the, uh, the inefficient way. Let's rejig it a bit. No. There we go. We can switch it into four six-man naval invasions. 
and then it'll take a quarter of the time to plan. Which makes absolutely no sense. Well, I mean, the, the logistical challenge of four smaller invasions is probably smaller than... Um, it's going to be very hard to assign from a different place. The, the logistical challenge of four small naval invasions is probably less significant than the challenge of um, one massive naval invasion, even if they're simultaneous. Ooh, we don't actually have range to invade down there. However, these new ships might. So we'll see what we can do with them. We don't need to patrol. Well, we do need there. We don't need to patrol the north anymore. We've got this place on lockdown. Okay, good. You guys just crush them. Cancel the pocket. Let's retreat the 40 width to make sure we hold there. Elsewhere on the line. Let's be having this, please. There's that pocket established. Nice. Cutting in there. Jolly good. Good. Then here we go. As soon as you finish crossing, we'll use you to support this attack. Or actually, no, we won't. We will cut around behind them. See if we can pocket them. I would really like to take Portland. You can come in here. You can support the attack. And that frees up one of these guys to support that attack. Nice. What song is this? It's from the Pillars of Eternity soundtrack. Don't know which song, I'm afraid. Pocket established. Close it up. Jolly good. Come on now. Let's just be having this tile. We don't want this... Uh, we're overexposed on this front. Bad supply. What are you all doing there? Oh, I guess you stopped when I gave you the new orders. So that's fine. Uh, we've launched a massive offensive for some reason. Why? I'm not sure. Excuse me? Stop that? Ah, it's because they have no attack order on that part of the front, and they're on. They're set to aggressive, so they always attack. Hold. Okay, now they'll hold. Good. <clears throat> okay, coming in here, coming in here. This is a bit of a struggle. Let's call that off. Focus on Portland. Portland's being a tough nut to crack, huh? Where are you going? Oh, they're being idiots. No front lines on here. You guys, go back to the front. Go back to the front. You can take that first. Fine. Mobile, get in here. You get on here. Good. <clears throat> okay. American lines quite thin in the north. You're wrapping that up, aren't you? Yeah. Good. Left you guys. Uh, the call, but that's fine. Let's crush up here. Let's start crushing down here a bit. Mm, you're not doing so well. It's fine. You can hold off. You two are not on front lines. You're doing that, so that's fine. You, however, should be here. Good. Keep cutting in along the north. Oh, we find they'll have very bad supply up there. And yeah, you can see the Americans getting more and more thinly spread. Which is good news. Good news indeed. We drive them back with just the cav. Maybe some marine support from the north. We might be able to. Obviously, they're holding pretty well. But uh, our supply is still looking pretty good. And it's only going to get better with the new stuff we're building. And then the distraction in Panama is going to be extremely effective, I think. I feel like they'll probably just panic. Ah, they're not going to let us get that pocket, sadly. Hold there, see if we can resist. Move in here. You need to get your butt down here. Now this and this, you're the same army, right? Yeah, so you guys swap onto this one. And then we'll just extend this north a bit. Progress against Canada is not very important, so I don't really mind if that's slowed by diminishing this cov cover there. 
Much longer until these are done. 30 days, yep. Yeah. Time's just for Panama indeed. 10 day justification, of course. Nice and quick. Some new Titchy guys. It's fine. They can just hang around in India. So, naval superiority wise, <clears throat> we don't have superiority here, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> and no one I use is going to have support here, except maybe just these. No. Maybe just the destroyers, the 1940 destroyers. No. Somehow they can reach further when they're in a group than either of them can individually. Ah, oh, the subs. Hey, the subs can. Nice. There's the naval superiority we need. You guys launch when ready. <clears throat> so many freaking mountains over here. I guess this is why the US probably wouldn't surrender if they were in this situation. Because uh, they know how easy it is to hold the Rockies. Oh, you could take that. You could cut in there. That'd be good. Nice. Okay. Looking fine in the north. Obviously the line is a bit thin on this one. Should spread the mobiles all the way up here. Just uh, to beef it up a little bit. And we could perhaps have the marines withdraw to just a small section of the front and then have the 40s up that so we can, you know, just do one by one. And now let's speed up. We can let everyone... Uh, oh, hello. We got pocketed. Whoops. Easily fixed, though. Very little supplies in the pocket, unsurprisingly. I wonder who's capitulated. Who is even left? Maybe there was a sea lion. Oh, no, just Greater Hungary being declared. Good for you. And you've even got Poland and Slovakia and Ukraine as puppets. You do you, Greater Hungary. I think the Soviets probably would capitulate... Sorry, the US probably would capitulate at this point. Because the the Japanese will be saying, like, okay, here's your choices. <laughs> you surrender now, or we're actually going to take San Francisco. Because we could, we could offer them peace terms, which are just like, give us Alaska and all of the Pacific Islands. And, uh, you know, don't mobilize a fleet. And then we'll let you go. We'll let you live. Because, I mean, I'd take that deal if I was America in this situation. Maybe they wouldn't, though. I'm not sure. There's a justification on Panama. Launch. They obviously join the Allies. All the invasions are active. Good, good, good. Yeah, we don't need you active up here anymore. Because there's literally... They don't have any ports on this coast. <laughs> so. Raiding units. Can now start raiding these regions. As soon as we actually take the Panama Canal, that will become possible. Did I just see that we have no one commanding these guys? No, I didn't. Good. It's these guys we don't. Okay. And you are modern, aren't you? So you can be new spotters. New... Actually, no, you just go into the reserve, and then we'll split one of the spotters. These are the modern 3-8 spotters. We can reinforce in. Are none of you going to reinforce in? Should do. Yeah, there you go. Good. Yeah, more Russian. The Russians are really like pumping out troops for no reason, eh? Okay. Maybe one less tile. And then Thick Boys can withdraw from the south. Supply, still looking pretty good all the way along. Which is quite an accomplishment, honestly. There's Recon, that's nice. Uh, yet more Entrenchment, doesn't really help us much. Could get some uh, better ground support. Would be useful. Okay, we can actually fit another 200 planes in this northern bit. And we can fit another bunch in here. Exquisite. Alright, the invasion's all launched. No, they're not, because we have superiority here. Now we do. 
All launched now? Yes. Off they go. Good luck, brave soldiers of Japan. Okay, good. Um, we are launching some attacks by mistake because I'm not sure why. Mm. Yeah, fall back behind this river, that's fine. We don't need to push through Canada. It's not one of our important strategic objectives. Try not to have gaps. Generally. That would be that'd be helpful. We'll push through northern Canada though, just because it'll shorten the line. Oh, you've already retreated. Nice. <laughs> I guess they have very low supply here. Okay. We could probably break most of these places, where they just have, like, one guy. Let's move some mobiles in here and see what we can do to exploit this hole. Maybe move south. Well, we'll see. We'll do something with it. Slow down a bit. How close to the invaders? Halfway there. We're in. More guys moving. Go straight north for me. We'll see if we can get a little pocket going here. And then we'd be through this first wave of mountains. It'd be very nice. Immediate pressure on them, please. And south. And further in. No delays. Only great victory. Okay, uh, let's have you guys. It's going to be very tough to break through these mountains. We could go for a bigger, more bold pocket, like crush all the way up here, but... I think we would struggle, to say the least. This, however, is going pretty nicely. Hey, nice. That's going to really, really hurt their air operations in the, in the region, if we can take that airbase. Which one is it in? This one or that one? I think it's in that one. Nice. Our mobile tanks are actually overrunning some. Let's see if we can break them here. That would be very useful. Now, this tile is the easiest to attack. So let's run a support attack there. Now you just come south. Okay. That attack is not going very well. Not highly surprisingly. But we have got the airbase. So that's room for another thousand something planes. Got any more planes just hanging around? No. Okay, so if we take one of these fighter wings. How many more fighters have we got spare? And how many more CAS? Once we know that, we can decide where we want to allot them. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's not going so well. We'll hold there instead. But we are going to get a little pocket here. Now, let's be less aggressive. Let's just try and break them here. Get these lot pocketed. You do this. Then maybe we can make some moves up in the north. Let's get another angle on that attack. It's mountains, so it's tough going, but... Just get as much as we can in there. We are going to break them here. That's excellent news. Trashing them, in fact. Very good. You guys hold back. Next tech. Um, don't need better plane. Don't need, sorry, don't need better those. Let's get more artillery. Should have got those a long time ago. Better cast. Let's just bump their attack a bit. Oops. That's fighters. That's my bad. <laughs> That's going to really hurt their production efficiency. Oh well. Yeah, they just leave one little hole in the thing. The front line. Then our, uh, our mobile units can really cause trouble for them. We're going to get night attack ahead of time. How long until you can move in there? Nine hours. Then we can sweep up these. Support attack with these guys. Get them there. Get them there. Nice. 
And that's the mountains more or less traversed, as long as we can get something going in the north here. Obviously, the cab are not the best place to hold them back. Hmm, but the tanks against infantry? Maybe not. Maybe we just push them back here rather than going for the pocket. Just to widen this a little bit. In the north, things are still stable. The Americans are moving onto the Canadian front, which is not ideal, but it's not the worst thing either. More random Russian divisions. And the Panama attack is landing, unopposed. Exquisite. Oh, opposed somewhat in Panama itself, but not elsewhere. Good. That was very nice. That breakthrough was uh, highly fortuitous. That front line was looking really quite stagnant, and that's really shaken things up for the better. <clears throat> Could now make, start to make some uh, serious moves. But those serious moves, including the capture of the Panama Canal, will take place in the next episode. Till then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.